you're saying. <laughs> what is it you're saying? Well, it is a Swiss village. It's about 10 or 15 minutes out of Launceston, heading toward Exeter and Beaconsfield. And we are here for one very, very important reason. It's been about a decade since the last time we participated in this event. And there's a grudge match on. There's Lonnie. And we're here at the Tamer Valley Resort. Just in is this one here. Any guesses yet? Ta -da! That's right, you guessed it. It was putt putt time. Putt putt isn't the only activity that you can indulge in here at Grindelwald, but it's one of our very big favourites. We're not going to relive that moment. <laughs> Last time we were here, Jeff actually drove on one of the things and it went flying through the air. I think it went past a tree or through a tree and went past Leah like Whoa. just in front of my face. She did the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> so it didn't hit us. <laughs> that's what that's what you want. Here away, hang on. Running champion. Please warm it up. God, I feel very inadequate right now. <laughs> It's a totally round. We're not going to lose it. What are they called? Has anyone got a blue ball? Okay. No, we've got So we've got an orange, we've got a white. Okay. And we're going to take two. Pink. Pink balls. Matching. Blue balls. <laughs> Have an enjoyable game. Like, yes, yes. Yeah, we're not yeah. going to be too Oh, it's even. Oh, he's got it out. Oh, he's got it out. Not a good shot. <laughs> It's already been in the water. <laughs> there we go. And the scorecard's in. Scorecard, There's nothing wrong with 75. I had it in. You can hear the turbo chickens. They got a little baby. And they're making lots of noise. Alright. We just finished a great game of putt putt. No, had a great laugh. <laughs> Jeff's unhappy, you came third. Guess who came second? Who added the scores up? <laughs> who added the scores up? You. Don't accuse me of cheating, mate. I know how to add up. Never play ever again. <laughs> Until next time, and we go guy, to Grindelwald. And that guy that I call my friend Glenn, well, he's gone too. <laughs> yeah, he's behind us. He's gone. Chasing us down. Cheat. We are now heading. Your cheats. Back into Launceston. We're going to go heading back in and going to go for a little bit of a walk now, just around the wetlands. I've been wanting to do that. Just to, I need to get my walk 10,000 steps up. So trying to make sure I do that each day because that really helps with my what my doctor called. Um, I remembered, ask tendonitis.
You will see the Tamar Island wetlands clearly marked on the highway and it's well worth pulling in and taking a look. As you wander along the walkways, you get to see a great range of wildlife. It is an hour return walk, however, once you get to Tamar Island, you can stop, stop there for a picnic if you take a bit of a packed lunch with you. There is also a discovery centre located right near the front entrance and you can go in there and talk to one of the rangers who are on site. There is also a wealth of information up in around the centre about the sorts of animals that you might see on this particular walk. This walk features as one of the 60 short walks of Tasmania. Happy days, we are at the Hideaway on George, one of our favourite stays. And we've got a nice little room, room number 10 here. Gorgeous, I just love it here. It's nice and quiet too, away from the city. As we finished up at the wetlands, we called into the hotel to check in before heading out for the afternoon to go visit some wineries. Now we are visiting Joseph Cromie Wines. We just got a little bit of an idea of what the grounds look like. They look really beautiful. So we're gonna grab a bite to eat. This wasn't a very successful mission, considering that they were all fully booked and you couldn't even get in to get something to eat. If you are planning your trip to Tasmania and you kind of know where you're going to go, I suggest making sure you book. We left Joseph Cromie hungry and thirsty and we did a bit of a tour around the countryside through Evendale before heading back into Launceston. This place will just have to go on a must visit next time. Because we drove the scenic route it took us about a good 45 minutes to get ourselves back to Launceston. It was about 4 o'clock we were starving at this stage so we stopped into Tandy's. Yeah. Where are we? Tandy's. Tandy's Ale House. Tell Liz us about Tandy's. Elizabeth Street. Oh, uh, yeah, it's alright. What else do you want to make? They've what do you eat? They've got a vast range of good craft beers, good taste of uh, Tasmania. I think you'll find that uh, the beers are fresh, crisp, and uh, certainly delicious. What are you drinking there, Rob? Uh, just a Drinking the Tandy's draft. It's a nice beer, isn't it? It's a nice drinking beer. Not many hops there, is there? Not a lot of hops, quite easy, sort of full of a session now. Yeah, yeah, very nice, very nice. A lot of uh, different uh, gins and uh, wines, all from Tasmania. So when you come here, all about the bar, go and see Ernie. Ernie, great, except he won't turn your air conditioning on the heating. Um, Don't talk about the aircon, but we'll talk about the beers, because it's certainly a good place to come. A bit, bit of a problem when you come in here and it's like 3 degrees inside and 20 degrees outside. Oh, I guess your beer's cold, mate. Actually, no, no it's probably not. <laughs> Hey, what do, you, what do you do for meal? Uh, Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Tell us more. Yeah, well, well, basically they don't have food here, but you can um, you can get food from anywhere in, in Australia delivered to so, uh, some of the local little establishments. There's pizza. There's the curry curry house just up the road. Uh, there's Tiger the Sing. Certainly some. Osteria, Lodis, or whatever it's we, called. We had some chicken burgers, yeah, and you guys had some Mexican, yeah? Yeah, we had a bit of It took about 10 minutes to get here. The problem was, the Uber came to the front door, and all these guys that were out there all grabbed it before we got a chance to get yeah, it. Yeah, they all had a bite to eat. They're all starting to eat it, and we finally got it. So, hey, that's ours. We're, we're, all, we're all friends here, isn't it? Ha ha. Hey, look what I've got beside me. It's Glenn. Hey, Glenn, how are you, mate? Yeah, yeah good, mate. So, you take that, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
quarter to six on a Sunday and uh, we left Handy's thinking that maybe we could go and get a drink along the way to the restaurant. We thought wrong. A case shut. Alchemy shut. We're talking about going back where we were last night, but I don't like the chances of that being open either. So welcome to Bonnie on a Sunday evening. Might see if we can get our booking brought forward at Prickly Cactus. The team at Prickly Cactus were fantastic. They did let us get in early and we started filling up on those fishbowl daiquiris. Should you dine at the Prickly Cactus at one point, I highly recommend the ribs and also the fajitas. We like this restaurant so much that we actually booked for the following weekend as well. And Jeff, what did you get? Thanks for watching with us. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.